to another video and in today's video I'm very excited to share with you a partnership between Business Tree and Yozy Power and we'll be putting together this e-bike that we've got um, and it's an e-bike conversion kit of a 350 watt rear hub motor um, so we'll dive straight in so here we've got the battery okay and you can see there the, the mounting bracket is still inside what you've got to check is just check the keys just make sure that that bolt here is in the open position then get yourself a small screwdriver and from the top here just gently push it down and you'll find then it, it should start to slide off here okay what i probably would advise you to do is um as you've done that just make sure that the power's off uh it has got a battery indicator in front of here it's got a tiny bit of power in here uh there's a tiny bit but not enough but i would say switch it off and then open the side bit here okay and then um go and get your power pack and put it on charge while we start to mount this on the on the bike Okay, so what we're going to do, I've put the battery on charge and this is the battery bracket. Um, this, this bracket needs to be fixed to the uh, frame here. So on the frame here, I've got two Allen keys. They come pretty standard on most of the bikes. Uh, and again, there's two on the other side. This is the bit you're after here. So all you're going to do is line up, line up your holes here. Okay, just get the first one in there and then you've got the next one which is a, it's got a bit more adjustment on it here is to remove this back wheel here um, now in the uh, in the instructions it is saying that when you remove the back wheel that you remove the tire and then you put it back onto the donor wheel but what I've done, because this tire isn't any good, I've already um, put a new tire on there, ready. Uh, so it's tiring in the tube, quite simple. Okay, so that's almost ready to go. So what you're gonna be doing is, we're gonna remove this wheel. So, so again, um, This particular one here uh, has got a quick release on it, okay. Um, but just be a bit careful with uh, those of the you've got um, disc brakes, okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is remove the cogs from the rear wheel here. So you push this in. This has got little grooves in the side here, which fit into into there. Um, I say if it's a, um, a bit of a tight fit um, what you can do is just just gently tap that in uh, what, what I did is just um, to protect my fingers just hold that and then you can then start to unscrew this okay so you unscrew that comes off keep that to one side and then what you'll find is these cogs Will then slide out hello there uh, so we've got to the stage where we're going to change over the cogs so the cog from my old donor bike here uh, is slightly different to the one that's required on the hub, new hub wheel uh, because of that it's got the sleeve here that's fixed to the wheel um, and, and they've got the grooves in there so because what we needed was the free wheel uh, so i popped along to the local shop put myself a free wheel one which actually screws on okay uh, again you could use a, a piece of chain to tighten that up uh, but that's pre-tightened now so that's on there for me okay so that's all ready now uh, to go on the bike but just remember to check your donor bike first make sure you've got the right uh, the right cog that is uh, ready to go onto the new hub because it is actually a free wheel one. Be careful of the um, 
cable here just feed that through this side here so as it's going on just remember to uh, be a bit gentle with this bit again all that's going to happen is uh, this wheel is going to slide down inside here takes a bit of a little bit of locating actually to get in the right position and again what you've got to do if it, it, in here you see you've got two flat sides here these have got to be turned around so that they sit in to the actual frame itself okay making sure that these bits here so you've got um, a locating washer here that locates into the frame both sides here so when you've got your washer next and your nut as these do up this then pushes and holds the wheel in that frame both sides oh yeah right so what we've done is we've used the extraction tool here to then uh, put this into uh, the wheel here but I've taken this off now already but what this does is um, this sensor here uh, slides on Okay, once you've got the pedal off so it just slides on but just remember to try and keep uh, this part here to the bottom of the frame okay you can cable tie that later uh, so what what that what happens with this is that when it's in a position uh, to take off yeah all you're going to do is take the allen key out the end which was this so we just take this out of the pedal and then all you're going to do is this piece first is to slide this in, uh, screw this in, sorry. So that screws in. So screw that in as tight as you can. And then this bit here, this is the extraction bit, goes in here. Um, and depending on what size, this is the difficulty that I had, to be fair, is that when I was putting this in, uh, Ideally on the end here, you've got a star uh, here, star allen key here, if you had a big enough one to fit in there. doesn't come with one, but you can get another 16 um, spanner, and all that, that that does, you can then just wind this in, and what that does, that puts pressure on the centre part, and it pulls the, the um, pedal pedal out. And actually, it was pretty, pretty easy when I did it. Okay, so what we've got to do next is fit the brake lever onto here to do that we have got to uh, remove these grippy little handles here which is reasonably difficult but we'll give it a try now the the, the setup i've got on up on here is a shimano set but what unfortunately for me uh, and again it's something you've got to check is the brake is integrated into the gears so uh, and this is just a brake mechanism whether that's brake and gears so the choices are I've got to go out and buy a new set of these here or what I've done on and I'll show you what I've done on the other side is if you come across the other side what I've done I've put one on here ready um, and what I've done is and this needs to be filed off so there's no sharp edges I've cut the brake lever off fitted the secondary brake lever on there so I've still got access to the brake and the gears as I'm riding now uh, display it comes um, with a nut and bolt in a separate bag and uh, this this device here so just be don't be tempted to pull this out because it probably snap so just this slides out here okay and before you start putting that back together this nut goes into the little housing at the top there okay and then Position it where you want it, obviously. Leave the cover on, I would. This protective cover until you do everything. Okay, so what we're going to do, we've got them all connected on here. We're just going to connect up this main uh, four to one wire here. So you've got, I've connected the first one up, which is green to green. It's all quite simple. Uh, and then you've got um, the different connectors here, two the same and one different. So all you're going to do is look for the one that's the same. This one here, the different one is the throttle. Uh, so again, um, if you look inside uh, these, you'll see that they've got a little nodule there and inside here is where it mates up here. So just be a bit careful when you're lining them up. 
uh, to make sure that they line up properly. So uh, again line the two bits up together and they clip in. It is nice and simple and I think they're pretty watertight with that and again uh, with the other two here both the same doesn't matter which is which um, again you can you know finish up and cable tie all these when you've done so again clip those two together the, another tip actually if you can see on the top of the connector it's got two arrows here and if you line the two arrows up you know you've done it correctly okay so again I'll show you on this one here so you can see there there's an arrow this side so we're looking for the arrow which is here so if we line these two up here that clip together uh, I've also added this um, the Yoast Power bag as you can see on this side uh, you can carry in the spare uh, spare inner tubes and tools should you require it um, fit with the battery on um, and uh, just make sure before you carry on that you switch it to on here just make sure you lock it as well on that side and, and remove the keys um, once that's on uh, it's just a case really of testing the bike so the display you've got uh, on off button on the top there and various settings on here and then to go up and down the modes here so all you're going to do is just press this and you'll see it it'll come on Okay, and in there you've got um, kilometers per hour and what mode it's going to be in, in the state of your battery and the amount of miles you, or kilometers you're going to be doing so you can start in uh, in and power assisted in one or you can then press the uh, the plus button to go up to two three four and five okay I, I would probably suggest you start in one or two depending on the inclines and then work your way up Okay, uh, so uh, my opinion of the uh, conversion bike being as I, um, I built it myself, uh, I did find the uh, uh, the thing the things you should check are the size of your wheels, uh, because obviously of replacing the tyres if you want to use your existing tyres, I had to go out and buy one as it was, um, and also with the um, fitting of the, the rear cog at the back. Uh, just make sure you have the, the right cog uh, for a free wheel uh, cog, uh, in effect. Um, and apart from that, uh, the, the, the design of the bike um, is okay. Again, you've got to make sure, like we were talking around, that the gears are separate from the brakes because the brakes come separate. Um, and also that you leave enough room uh, on the factory for the battery to slide in once you've got it onto the bar okay uh, apart from that I ride in the bike I, I find it um, very easy the motor's very good it's very quiet and it's uh, it picks up very well um, so as a conversion as a you know as a budget option to go out and spend in, you know thousands of pounds on a electric bike I think actually it's a good option for you